Maybe this is the October surprise. It is October 30, 2024, first case of deadly new strain of MPOX detected in UK as the World Health Organization activates for the first time global health emergency measures. This is your heads up, prepare for anything. Could this just be their test case? on running these global health emergency measures? Or could this be rolled out to be the pandemic? Who knows? Unfortunately, we're not in control of all of the agendas. But I will tell you this, these agendas, they've made me very tired. How are you doing in this fabulous world of ours? All right, I'm going to read some of this article. Yeah. Um, I will link below to everything, and here we go. It's potentially deadly. Clade 1B, just a reminder. 2018, they held a Clade X exercise, bringing together all of the experts to sit around a table and to uh, map out this fictional scenario, John Hopkins, Clade X, Clade. Okay, so the person involved developed flu-like symptoms more than 24 hours later. This was somebody who flew in from Africa. They started to develop a rash, which worsened in the following days. The person attended an emergency department in London on October 27, where they were swabbed and tested and sent home to isolate while waiting for the results. They, though it's one person, but they haven't disclosed any information about this one person. So we don't know the sex. Okay, I was wondering, they, is it they, them? Are you doing the pronouns, GB? No. They have now been transferred to the Royal Free Hospital High Consequence Infectious Diseases Unit for treatment. Fewer than 10 people have come in contact with that patient. They are being traced. Mpox is a viral disease that causes fluid-filled skin lesions, fever, and in severe cases, death. It's spread through close contact with an infected person's skin, sores, scabs, bodily fluids, or respiratory droplets, which include skin-to-skin -skin contact such as touching, kissing, cuddling, or sexual contact, contact with objects or surfaces used by an infected person such as clothing and bedding, towels, breathing close to an infected person such as talking or breathing face-to-face, -face, airborne, the latest strain, Clade 1B, gripping parts of Central and West Africa. It has infected more than 25,000 people and led to almost 1,000 deaths since it was detected in the Democratic Republic of the Congo last year. It has also spread beyond the continent, Thailand, Sweden, Pakistan, the Philippines, now the UK. In response to the current outbreak, the World Health Organization and partners, in collaboration with member states, have activated the Global Health Emergency Corps for the first time. The first activation of this new support mechanism follows the declaration of MPOX as a public health emergency of international concern by the World Health Organization their dictator, Tedros, August 14 of this year. The World Health Organization and partners are supporting the government of Democratic Republic of the Congo and other countries to implement an integrated approach to case detection, contact tracing, targeted vaccination, clinical and home care, infection prevention and control, community engagement and mobilization, and specialized logistical support. Emergency measures are warranted. 
Unlike Clade 2, which was confined to men having sex with men, Clade 1, B, spreading more wildly through the heterosexual community, heterosexual contact, pregnant women, and children, it also has a higher death rate than Clade 2. Okay, here we go. Here we go again. Link will be below. The link to Clade X will be below. But I do want to remind everybody about that pandemic treaty. And let's just uh, listen to Dr. Merrill Nass from Maine talk about the dangers of this pandemic treaty. I know a lot of you know about it, but there's an awful lot who don't know about it. So I will link below to this short, short clip you might want to circulate it. We're undergoing a soft coup. And the idea is to create a whole new set of We're undergoing a soft coup. And the idea is to create a whole new set of laws and ignore the existing human rights laws and other laws under the pretext of pandemic preparedness and the biosecurity agenda. The WHO is developing through all its nations, but with the WHO directorate in the United States in charge, a pandemic treaty and amendments to the existing international health regulations that will remove the human rights protections currently um, embedded in the IHRs, will enforce surveillance, censorship, get rid of freedom of speech, require governments to censor and only push a single narrative. Also, we will be sub subject, if, if they can make this work, to vaccines developed in 100 days, which the organization CEPI is planning to do. And one of the people who founded CEPI was Jeremy Farrar, who is now the chief scientist at the WHO to bring this forward. Um, other things that uh, the amendments do is to bind the state so they're no longer recommendations but enforceable edicts. Uh, provide a liability shield, get rid of intellectual property rights, move supplies from one country to another, um, enforce digital passports, and the Director General of WHO can demand that a pandemic or a potential pandemic exists. He can just declare it with no standards and then countries around the world will have to obey. Uh, also, the WHO will tell you what drugs you can and can't use in your nation once a pandemic is declared. Obviously, the budget will increase. Um, One Health is another part of this. One Health is a concept that was created to enable the WHO with these documents to take over jurisdiction of everything in the world by saying that climate change, animals, plants, water systems, ecosystems are all central to health. Also embedded in this concept is a peculiar notion that humans are no longer of greater value than animals. There you go. Okay. Um, is this woman right? Is she correct? Let's listen. The that the World Economic Forum has is that there are going to be people that will not comply. Their biggest fear is your fight for freedom. Their biggest fear is that you will make individual decisions for yourself and you will not follow their orders. So this digital stuff is absolutely key because without it, they can't enforce anything. Without it, they can't mandate that you do something. Without it, they can't control your life. So I don't care if you're talking about carbon emissions and what's safe and effective as far as they are concerned. I don't care if they're talking about an experimental injection, a series of injections, whatever they may be, and what's safe and effective as far as they're concerned. This is not about those individual things. This is about the desire to control you from the outside in. 
And if they have a digital process whereby they can restrict your movement, your behavior, and your decisions with the click of a button, you are done. The biggest fear that the world economic Don't comply. Don't comply. I'm afraid most of the world's population will bow down again and comply. Digital passports, the World Health Organization, the World Economic Forum, they all work together to bring the world as one. Don't worry. They will take care of you. They'll take care of the little kitties. Their mommy and daddy, Tedros, Klaus. All right. Um, I will also link below. I'm not going to read any of this article. The most devastating report so far by uh, this article is by Dr. Bacicera. I probably butchered his name again. But it is a report from the Department of Human and Health Services or Health and Human Services. So we have one department, one federal agency, who is coming out and actually saying that all of what took place during the COVID years, the pandemic, was not quite right, was devastating. Not just the amount of money that was spent on the propaganda, but also devastating to, um, well, in our case, Americans' trust in public health, which I think really took a nosedive during those years, um, and also about how devastating it was for the children, especially. So the link will be below. If you don't know any of this information, click on the link and get educated. Get educated because they are coming out with a new one. Whether it's MPOX, whether you know, this is a test case for them on the global health emergency measures. We don't know. It's a wait and see. But we all know the direction that we're heading in. And it ain't good. Hope you're all doing well. Ciao.